Hello everybody and welcome back to the man in the middle attack section. Now before we begin using the tool that we installed in the previous tutorial I just want to show you how you can do this manually using some already pre-installed tools that come in Kali Linux. So what we want to do first of all uh, if you didn't watch the theory video behind this you might want to watch it since I want to explain why are we doing certain things right here. But let us get right into this. So. What you need to do is first of all open up your terminal and since we will be running uh, multiple commands at the same time we want to use a tool or a program that we installed in the previous videos or I showed you how to install it, it's called Tilix. Now what Tilix is, uh, it's basically a terminal that allows you to open multiple windows and run same commands or run different commands at the same time. So let us open Tilix. And let us close this terminal since we don't need it, so, but don't close it on X, you basically close it on this dash right here, since it will close Tilix as well. And now what we want to do is we want to split this Tilix into three different uh, windows, so we can run three commands. Now what we want to do is we basically want to run the ARP spoofing attack against our Windows 10 machine. Now. I already show you the command on how to change your, or how to check your cache table or your ARP cache table and see which uh, devices do you have in your ARP cache. So just type here ARP minus A and you will see all of the devices that you have currently in your ARP table. We can see the gateway which is 192.168.1.1 at this MAC address and we can also see my uh, Windows 10 machine which is 192.168.1.6 which we will be targeting at this MAC address right here. Now. If we open up my command prompt on my Windows 10 machine and we type the same command which is ARP minus A, we will see that it also has some machines in the ARP table and we can see that one of them is our router at the same MAC address as we can see right here and this one right here which is 192.168.1.8 is my Kali Linux machine which has this MAC address. Now you will see after we perform the ARP spoofing attack that these, these two, that these two IP addresses will both have the same MAC address which will be the MAC address of our Kali Linux machine. That's how you will know that someone or basically us uh, in this case is running the ARP spoofing. Since both of these machines will have the same MAC address which will be the MAC address of our Kali Linux machine. So now that I explained this. Let's run the commands. So the tool that we will be using, which is already in Kali Linux, is ARP spoof. So just type here ARP spoof and you will see the usage. It is simple. We'll basically select our interface and our target. Now, since we are only targeting one host and not all the hosts in our uh, local network, um, we'll basically run the same command twice, but with the reverse IP addresses. Now, let me show you what I mean, first of all. So type here ARP spoof, then minus I and then select your network interface. In my case that is ETHO. Since if I type here IF config, you will see that my only interface that's connected currently to the network is the ETHO. Now if you have a wireless adapter that is connected, for example, you can use that one as well. But just name it differently or just check out the name with the IF config command. So type here I ARP spoof minus I then ETH0, then minus T, and after the minus T we select two IP addresses, which one of them will be the router's IP address and one of them will be the Windows 10 IP address. So just type here 192.168.1.1, which is our router's IP address, which we want to spoof, and type here 192.168.1.6, which is the IP address, if I check here correctly, IP config which is the IP address of our Windows 10 machine which we are targeting. Now this basically means as I talked in the theory video that this will spoof both the uh, target, the router's IP address and the Windows 10 IP address and that will make the packets go through us since the router will think that we are the Windows 10 machine and the Windows 10 machine will think that we are the router. So they will both be sending the packets to us which we will be forwarding uh, to the router which we will be forwarding to the other websites. So. We can't only run this command since this will only ARP spoof one target. We need to ARP spoof them both in, for this to work. So just type here ARP spoof minus I, then ETH0, 
then minus t, and now just basically these two IP addresses that we specified in this order, which is first the router's IP address and then the Windows 10 IP address, you need to reverse. So just type here 192, whoops, 192.168.1.6, which is Windows 10 IP address, and here type 192.168.1.1. Now, uh, once you do this, basically just click here enter on both of these commands and it will start, start ARP spoofing as we can see right here and this will continue as long as you run it. Now, what you want to, uh, what you want to check right now is, for example, let's open up now our command prompt on our Windows 10 machine and if I type here again ARP minus A you will notice that now both of these IP addresses have the same MAC address, which is the MAC address of our Kali Linux machine. Which means that our Windows 10 machine now thinks that the router is at this MAC address, and it sends all of its packets to the uh, to the now our Kali Linux machine. And this will uh, continue as long as we run this. Now, if you go onto the internet on our Windows 10 machine and you try to visit a website you won't, won't be able to do it. Now, I'm able to do it because I ran a simple command before I started this, which I will show you right now. So, let us just close this for a second. If I control C, both of those windows, you will see that it will clean up and re-arping targets, which basically means that it will start sending ARP requests and replies, which uh, consist of true IP address with its true MAC address. So, the, everything will be back to normal. Now, you probably couldn't be able to collect to uh, go to the info the ARP spoofed uh, target machine if you didn't run this command, which is echo one and then proc sys slash net slash ipv4 and then slash ip underscore forward. This basically means that uh, for, uh, well by default you will have zero in this file which means that you will not be able to forward the packets. In order for us to be able to forward the packets, you need to run this command first before you start the ARP spoofing. Now, I was able to connect to the internet since I already ran this command before, but you won't be able to, so you need to run this command. It will basically uh, print or it will uh, input one into the IPv forward uh, file and it will be able to forward packets from now on. So just press here enter. And if we cat the same file, so let me just copy this right here. So copy and then paste right here. And if we cat that, you will see that now there is one in this file. So now you should be good to go. And if you run this once again, you will be able to access the internet on the uh, on this spoofed machine. So let us do that once again. But right now, let us try to capture some packets with Driftnet. Now Driftnet. If I type it right here, you will see it will open up a window, a black window, which basically I believe it will pop up some of the files and pictures that the target machine will visit while we are ARP spoofing. Now, in some uh, some cases this doesn't work, uh, since um, basically as I talked about, not all websites can be targeted to the ARP spoofing and to the man in the middle attack since some of them are HTTPS over TLS encryption, which is not vulnerable to the decrypted man in the video attack. So you will not be able to read, uh, basically you will not be able to read packets from the TLS encrypted website. You will only be able to read the packets from the HTTP website or the HTTPS website while performing the SSL strip on it. So let me just see if there are any options for the help for this command. If I enlarge this, we can see that we need on basically we need the interface so we need to select the interface for this command now the interface will be the same interface that you're running ARP spoof on uh, let's see do we need anything else i don't think so so we only need to run the driftnet minus i and then the interface so let's first run that so driftnet minus i and then etho and we can see that this opened up right here and while that is running, or let's first, since it goes to the background, let me just close this and let's run the ARP spoofing first. So I will just go and run the same two commands that we ran before. So let me just clear the screen so it looks a little bit prettier. And let's run the same two commands that we ran. So this one, 
ARP spoof and then first target, first the router and then the Windows 10 machine. We run that one and then go in the next terminal and we run the reverse IP addresses. So we, we run these two and now the target machine will be able to connect to the internet even while being ARP spoofed. And basically the, uh, the victim won't know that it is being ARP spoofed unless they run this command in their, in their terminal or command prompt and notice that they are two same MAC addresses which can be a little suspicious and does point out to the man in the middle attack. But most of the people don't even know what command prompt is, so you shouldn't be worried about someone actually opening this, and you also shouldn't be running this on any network you do not own or do not have permission to do this. So, while we run the ARP spoof, let us now run the driftnet once again, minus I ETHO. And now let's see if this will work on this website, it might work and, and it might not. If we reload it, we might be able to see, for example, some of the pictures that it will load from the target's machine. So if we load this once again, you will see that it works. And it does load something, not all of the pictures. We can try to load it again, maybe it will work. So you just click on the website. Well, it managed to capture something, I believe this is the picture from the website. or. Let me just check, see here it is, it managed to load this picture right here. As I said, sometimes this will work and sometimes it just won't work. But this is just the most simple case of running the ARP spoofing attack and performing the packet capturing in our DriftNet tool. Uh, we will be covering some of the more, basically more advanced things you know, that you can do with man in the middle. This is just the most simple form. We didn't even use the tool that we installed in the previous video, we will use it in the next few videos. Uh, and basically it will automate this entire process, so we won't really be needing to run three commands at the same time, we will only need to run one command and we will be able to do all of this. Now once again, if, you, if, the tar if your target machine isn't able to connect to the internet, make sure that there is one echoed in that uh, IP forward file, which I showed you how to do it. So let us close this, uh, that would be about it for this lecture. Now if you want to restore the ARP spoofing or basically restore the MAC addresses with their IP addresses, just control C both of these and your target machine and you might be disconnected from the internet for a brief second but nobody will notice that since it will go back to normal in just a one second and nobody will notice that you ran the ARP spoofing attack. So that would be about it for this tutorial, uh, we will continue with the man in the middle attack in the next one, and I hope I see you there. Bye!